In school, we learn that water boils and changes from a liquid to a vapor at a temperature called the boiling point, which is 100 degrees Celsius. However, after a rainy day, puddles of water gradually evaporate, even when the temperature is nowhere close to 100 degrees. So, how does that happen? To understand this, we need to look at the properties of water molecules and the bonds between them. Water molecules are composed of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms forming the molecule we call H2O. These molecules are held together by a type of bond known as a covalent bond. Covalent bonds are strong and help keep the water molecules stable. Now, let's talk about the bonds between different water molecules. These bonds are called intermolecular bonds, and they determine how water molecules interact with each other. One type of intermolecular bond is a hydrogen bond. Due to the structure of water molecules, Hydrogen bonds form between the slightly positive hydrogen atoms of one water molecule and the slightly negative oxygen atoms of another water molecule. This occurs because the oxygen atom has a higher electronegativity, meaning that it attracts electrons more strongly, making the hydrogen atoms slightly positive. Even though hydrogen bonds are weaker than covalent bonds, they still play a crucial role in the properties of water. These bonds are responsible for water's high boiling point high specific heat capacity, and high heat of vaporization. Having a high heat of vaporization means that it takes a lot of energy to turn water from a liquid into a vapor. When water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, the water molecules gain enough energy to break the hydrogen bonds, allowing them to escape as a vapor, through a process that we call boiling. Evaporation, on the other hand, which occurs at lower temperatures, relies on the same principle of breaking hydrogen bonds. So, why and how does water evaporate at lower temperatures? Well, not all water molecules have the same amount of energy at any given time. The temperature of a substance is essentially a measure of the average energy of its molecules. Some water molecules will have more energy than others, and some will have less. This is due to the random movement and interactions of the molecules. At lower temperatures, some of the water molecules with higher energy can still break free of their hydrogen bonds and escape into the air as vapor. This process is called evaporation, and it happens even when the ambient temperature is not at the boiling point. Several factors affect evaporation, including temperature, humidity, and wind. Higher temperatures increase the rate of evaporation, while higher humidity and unmoving air will slow it down. In summary, both boiling and evaporation involve breaking the hydrogen bonds between water molecules, allowing them to change from a liquid into a vapor. While boiling occurs when the temperature reaches the boiling point, evaporation can happen at any temperature, due to the random energy distribution among water molecules. The sun's heat and other factors can cause some of these water molecules to break free of their hydrogen bonds and evaporate, even when the temperature is nowhere near 100 degrees Celsius.